Yo, what's going on? Somebody here is an oracle. Somebody here is a reader. Somebody here that I'm talking to, even if you're not public, you do your own readings and may even do readings for your friends and family. Spirits of other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. So somebody is very much connected to spirit. Just very magical. Could be very earthy. Um, into like natural healing and stuff like that. Okay, your spirit team is telling you, you are enough. You are worthy. Because we do got self-worth. Self-worship. Yes. Praise yourself. Okay. Big up yourself because you deserve that somebody here is has found a newfound confidence within themselves like look how she looking at herself in the mirror yes honey whether this is you or your person like the confidence that you have your spirit team is saying yes do that okay because they're right behind you backing you up you are beautiful they are walking with you okay talking through you okay my hands my hands fold as i speak to the stars watching as the sky holds its breath it's in stillness that i find all that i am and all the divinity within me talk heavy okay we do have the lovers under that okay the number 28 the number 37 the number 42 love lulls all sorrow and bewitches flesh Flesh, mind, and breath reminded me that I am unafraid of the unfueling winds of my eternity, okay? So there's some deep messages here. Your person has some deep feelings that they want to express, okay? Um, fertilizing, you're very fertile at this time. All right, this is a very magical time for you. It's giving Empress energy. Um, somebody is needing to eat more, like, green um, somebody here could be vegan or going be vegan or thinking about going vegan or vegetarian. Spirit saying yes. It's time to eat more clean. To nourish your soul. Earth worship. Okay, so like I said, somebody here is very connected to spirit. This is giving like empress energy. Like until my body... It's in your arms. I will worship you, dear mother of mine. So this is somebody who feels very connected to Mother Gaia. You could be feeling very connected to trees. We do got creation and maiden. Something that you've been trying to create is about to just um, happen to you. You're about to birth something new into this world that has been waiting for you, okay? Like you get the green light from Mother Gaia, your spirit team, all of that, okay? What messages would you like them to know? This is a very powerful time, magical time for you. King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be a earth sign here. It's just a lot of earth energy, a lot of money. Um, this could be somebody that's like very much 3D oriented right now or too focused on the 3D. Um, but I feel like this is a good energy. Things could be feeling like it's moving slow for you. But there is an offer that's coming in from somebody that wants to, I'm getting worship you, like, okay, because we got this Ace of Swords energy here, okay, there could have been um, conflict, confusion within your connection, but I feel like that's about to clear up with this Ace of Swords, some type of truth is about to be spilled, or you could be finally recognizing the truth, somebody finally seeing things, seeing themselves for who they are and what they want, the King and the, the, king and the Queen of Pentacles is out here, okay, so this is a divine couple. This is a earthy, this is y'all coming together on an earthly plane. But this is also somebody that's very stable, a couple that's very stable that will maybe even work together financially. This person is holding on to your love. They're holding on to you, even though it could be somebody else in the picture with this two of pentacles. This doesn't have to be another connection that they're juggling. Or trying to find balance and this could also be like they're trying to figure out their financial situation like because a lot of these people are changing their lives around and is it is going to be a big change some of them are moving some you know everybody is different so whatever situation that they may be in at this time they're trying to find some type of balance in it and they're needing to make a choice with this lover's energy okay communication is coming in it's brewing for you guys okay after a heartbroken time, I feel like it's something heart like 
Is something heartbroken about the last thing that you said to them or the last thing that they said to you? I don't feel like this person wants to break your heart intentionally. It's just there. there's still some things that they can't express to you right now. Okay? But they will eventually express it to you. There will be some type of celebration, happiness, wish fulfillment. But I feel like this person has to get out of this energy of lying to themselves or feeling like they have to control or be strategic about how they handle you when they should just handle you with care the same way you handle them with care. Meanwhile, you handle everything with with care, with this earth worship. Like, I feel like you could be the type of person that tries not to kill, like, spiders when they come in your house. You probably catch them and release them, stuff like that. You're very connected with animals. Animals may just come up to you. You could have a strong connection with birds. They might allow you in their space, like, because you know how birds would just fly away when you walk up on them, but it's something about how peaceful you, you walk and how peaceful your, your spirit is that they welcome you in their circle. I'm getting, <laughs> there is a tower energy that's about to erupt. This person thinks of you even if they with somebody else. And I feel like this person is getting tired of that. They're tired of always thinking about you, have to watch you from afar, can't ever express their feelings, lying to themselves and other people to try to please other people when they're hurting themselves and the person that they actually love in the process. This person is about to stand up for themselves. This is going to happen suddenly. They are ready to put in the work or they have been putting in the work or this person is just a very hard worker. Mind you, this is a lot of earth energy that is out here right now, okay? So I feel like this person has so much love for you that they're about to express it to you. Y'all about to create new beginnings. Some of y'all are about to have children. This is, a, this is a very fertile time for you. Um, This person was waiting for the right opportunity to express their love, okay? But they're moving towards you. Yeah, they feel like you're their empress. The empress came out. They feel like you're their person. They see you for who you are now, okay? You're the person that they want to have children with, that they want to marry. They see how creative you are, how abundant you are. You just have an abundant mindset regardless of your circumstances. You're the type of person that's going to make something from nothing because you got it like that. All right. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.